Hey guys, Farad the Alligator here, and I am back today with something special. I'm pretty sure you guys can kind of guess because I had to clean out a whole new thing, um, like a whole new area, because this one, <laughs> this one's going to be big. This video is, uh, this one has kind of been a long time coming, and I was just waiting on someone to kind of ask and throw out something like, hey, look, um, here's this. And that specifically, um, or that specific person would happen to be a fellow YouTuber on here. I'm going to name drop him. Um, I'm going to put his channel also in my um, description. But his name is um, Venom Fang. I don't know if any guy, any of you guys watch him, but um, if you watch him and me, uh, hello. Uh, Free, feel free to give him a subscription because that would be awesome. And another YouTuber that did this similar video is called the Largit or Largent. Sorry, guys, if I uh, butcher your last name. Uh, Largent Family Hunters. They did a wonderful job in their video. And effectively, what this video is is um. A build a figure collection slash challenge. Um, Venom Fang challenged Largent family, and I commented below to see if I could partake and kind of jump on the bandwagon. So, um, uh, being as like YouTube, YouTube is a fair and uh, wonderful god and creator, it will destroy anything that stands in its way. Um, they said yes, and I figured I will challenge some people, answer uh, answer some questions, and show you guys all of my build of uh, One second as I take a drink. Oh. Now, unfortunately, there's only five questions, and I have more than five build figures, so that shouldn't throw it out there. Um, but yeah, guys, the first question is the first ever build a figure and the first build a figure i ever like i ever had would be this wonderful monstrosity right here ironmonger from the uh what was it iron man 3 wave like yeah i don't even know to call it the iron man 3 wave or like the beginning of my collection because like I got him uh, back in like 2013 or whenever when that came out. Fortunately, I did lose his antenna because moving and um, everything. Like he is par like he is very um, what's the word? Very stiff. Um, even though I did play with him and pose him, like my favorite pose is to always have him like this, where I have a bendy wire over um, Iron Man. So he'll go in the background. And now, like to kind of filter feed, I'm going to show you guys some other build figures I have. So like I have Titus from the Guardians of the Galaxy Wave. Mine is very loose in this arm. Like when I pose him, I kind of have to push his arm back in, like right here. I don't know if you can see it, but very loose. So I pushed that back in and he's all fine and dandy. Uh, I don't know if I can reach him from here, but I will try. There we go. I also have Red Onslaught. Well, I'm currently using the Magneto head that came with, um, Kid Pride as I, <laughs> I, I had to tear apart all of my displays just so I could get all of these guys out. So... That's how many I have. Like I do have a X Men display that you guys may see in the future. So I have Renault on slot. And now to answer a question, it would be a build a figure that I would love to see. Like that 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 just baffles my mind because there are so many build a figures that we don't have, and so many characters that I would love to see. Um, like one. I, I'm I, I'm a huge Marvel nerd. So I would love to see them either like expand on the cosmic entities, like the Living Tribunal, the Watchers, 
the one above all even. But the build a figure I would love to see is uh Red Hulk, Venom, and the Spirit of Vengeance. Effectively, what that is is or was uh it was Red Hulk, uh General General Ross with the Venom with the Venom symbiote and the Spirit of Vengeance, also known as what makes Ghost Rider Ghost Rider. And like this thing was amazing. Only it lasted like two, maybe three comics or three panels. I'm not exactly sure. I need to read up on that. But I would love to see him as a build figure, maybe in a uh, Ghost Rider wave, something like that. Um, all right, being as there's only five questions, some more build figure action. I do have um, Absorbing Man. Uh, let's see if I can reach him. And this would be my second build of figure that I ever completed, which would be Mandroid. I got him from the, uh, what is it, Captain America 2 set? Or like Captain America um, 2 movie wave, whatever that is. Okay. I will enter this now because I do have this figure. <laughs> the least favorite Boda figure or the most disappointing Boda figure that I have in my collection is Odin or the Old Father, depending on however you want to say it. Like, my gripe with him is I paid, uh, um, I'm just going to say, X amount of dollars for this figure. And he he he's just poo, like the f I I feel like they could have done better. Um, yeah. So I also have Thanos, uh, the comic version. Let me see. There we go. I have Thanos. Uh, he is holding a die because. Um. I'm, I'm going to effectively try and make a Cosmic Cube. I have Overly overly Tall Man, also known as Giant Man. I'm going to lay him down because you can't see him in camera anyway. Uh, I have Okoye from the Black Panther wave. Frankly, she shouldn't have been a build figure, in my opinion. And since we're on the topic of like movie characters, I have Thanos. There we go. I did take a extra like then uh, the comic. I had a con extra comic arm that I took his little band and painted it up. So that way it kind of matched. Let's see here. Um, I have Juggernaut, and in the background I just heard something shift. So that means one of my figures fell. Don't know which one, but one of them did. Uh, now, accessories and or improvements that I would love to see, which is uh, the fourth question. I would love to see either more articulation as a lot of them don't have double jointed elbows or like even open hands would be fantastic um for example absorbing man i would love to for him to have better heads but an open hand for both sets of arms like he does have this wooden arm here that has an open hand and i believe his metal one does too but the left arm is always in a fist I want to see like Thanos with an open arm as well. Um, the next build figure I have is kind of a big one, which would be Vulture. And his wings are massive, so I'm just going to lay him down. Uh, All right. There we go. I'm going to count these two build figures as just um, kind of the same character. I have Groot, 
Uh, Walter, you're in the way, so I'm going to move you real quick. And out of frame you go. So I have the Toys R Us exclusive group. And the Guardians 1 version group. Let me see if I can get Giant Man to stand. And for those guys, like for those of you wondering, um, if you take a look at my latest video, which would be my DIY, I believe that was my last video, um, I did put a thumbnail. So hopefully we will see more thumbnails coming out of my, my mind. Um, Next up, I have Cold Obsidian, or yeah, Cold Obsidian. I call him Black Dwarf because that's his name in the comics. Is he going to stand? Possibly. All right. And that's just some of them. Um, I will be pushing more out. And now when it comes down to the last question, top five Builder figures. Well, I'm going to kind of go out of order here. Because I don't have a lot of top five, or I don't have a top five, rather. I have Sasquatch. Um, sorry, I didn't mention that. All right. I would have to say number five would be Man-Thing. Sorry, he is kind of... He is very loose, and if anyone knows how to fix him, please let me know. I did try the like Clorox or like the Pledge floor cleaner. And it just made him a whole lot bit more floppy. There we go. Will he stay like that? Will he stay in that surprised? Perfect. Okay. So number five has to be Man-Thing because I love obscure characters. Um, sorry if you hear me grunting. That's me getting all of my the remainder I have Dormammu, which isn't part of my top five. Number four. Uh, I'm goofed because Dormammu is a dork. Number four would have to be, uh, I don't know if you guys can see him still, but Juggernaut. Mostly because like, he is a really cool figure. Uh, unfortunately... I feel he would be better if his abs allowed him for a full-on bend. All right. I also have Lizard, who coincidentally is my number three. Will he stay? I have a hard time getting him to stay for some reason. Okay. I only have three more figures to show, and then I will tell you guys my number one and two. I'm, I'm sure this won't come as a surprise, but I have Rhino. Number two happens to be, that's right, Gladiator Hulk. Mostly due to the fact that he is so detailed and I just love getting him into poses. Unfortunately, I am kind of poo when it comes to posing. Um, I, I actually need to work on that. And his hammer never seems to fit for me. I don't know how to fix it or anything, so I might just make my own. And the last build figure I have, marking number 22, if anyone has counted, I do have 22, would be this hulking monstrosity. Um, the builder figure, uh, Hulkbuster. I'm going to put him out to the side over here. But yeah, guys, like that is most of my like that's the entirety of my collection. Um, all of my builder figures. And now to tag everyone or like to tag some people. First up, I would love to see Gaspacho Main. Um, I am I am tagging you because I would love to see your your input on your build figures and all of your questions. 
I will link the questions below that way in case you can't understand me um, and I talk too fast, like that way they're there. And anyone else who collects Marvel Legends, I will be tagging you as well because I would love to see your input. But anyway, guys, I'm Afro. These have been all of my build figures and I will catch you all later on. If you're new to the channel, please leave a like, subscribe if you love my dorky antics. And anyway, guys, go uh, go subscribe to the Larget, the Larget family uh, hunters and Venom Fang. I will be posting their videos in a comment below or rather the description. So be sure to check there. And anyway, guys, I will see you all later. Peace out, guys.